The Sovol SV08 was recently announced and has been making its way around social media. And since it's another Voron derivative or clone, whatever you want to call it, just like the Trudon 2.0 that I just released a video of, I figured I would take a few minutes to make just a quick video, unscripted, to talk about the uh, comparing the two printers and my thoughts on which maybe is better for you, especially since this came up in the comments on my Trudon video. Hey, build stuff. So first of all, I don't have a Sovol SV08. I don't have room to put one anywhere. Maybe I would be interested in trying one out. It might be kind of interesting, but my experience with this so far is based on what's available, the information that's available on their website and also from the community. And so far, most of that comes from, I can give you two videos I'll link to. One is from uh, Nero3D, the Canuck creator. He did a live box unboxing and setup of this printer. And uh, he's got a video, uh, another unfinished 3D printer. So uh, that might tell you what you need to know right there. He goes through a lot of the negatives and downsides of this printer. A more thorough in-depth review of features and capabilities comes from uh, the uh, the next layer. So I'll link to both of those in the in the description. So first of all, to compare, I do have a little I do have a table. And the first the first point to compare on these two is the price. The Trudon uh, 2.0 from the United States currently $1,049. The Sovol SV08, from what the internet is saying, will retail for 600. Clearly, it's not going to be 10,000. That is like half the price. That sounds really great. One thing I just always want to point out with price is that it's not a good deal if the shoe doesn't fit, right? Like I, I, I give people this advice when talking about buying bicycles. A friend might want to buy a used bicycle and they'll say, look, this is a really good value. This is a really good price. And that's really not the case if it's the wrong size bike for you. So if the Sobel SV08 doesn't have all the features that you need, then it really doesn't matter how good the price is. And in my case, as we'll discuss, it, it wouldn't work for me. Uh, other than the price, the next obvious difference is that the Trudon 2.0 is fully enclosed and the Sovol SV08 is not. From what they're saying on social media, there's panels coming soon. There's holes drilled for the panels apparently here on the printer. Why didn't they just wait until the panels were ready to release it? You know, I don't know, maybe there's some business decision there. They figured not everybody needs them. And this allows them to sell it at a cheaper entry level price. And uh, so, so, and also maybe they just need to start generating some revenue because they invested a lot of money in tooling uh, to get this thing into manufacturing. If you're just printing PLA, PETG, then maybe that's fine. You don't care about the enclosure. Uh, but for me, I want to print higher temperature materials that require or really benefit from an enclosure. So that's uh, kind of a deal breaker, at least for now for me. The Trudon 2.0 has a, has a clipper touchscreen, a clipper screen enabled uh, five inch touchscreen. And the Sovol SV08, you can see just has the kind of the old school dial um, screen thingy. That's not really a deal breaker. But having the touch screen is super nice. I guess if you're, if you're really trying to go uh, on a budget build, then that's one area that it's, it's acceptable to, um, to, to reduce cost on. But clipper screen has a lot of functionality. Um, you know, it's, it's touch screen. It's easy to use. It's easy to find things in the menu than having to use these little jog dials. So that's a luxury I really like having. From what I understand, the, the Solval printer does have USB and HDMI ports, so you can upgrade to, uh, you, you'd be able to upgrade the screen later on. The parts, so this is a, this is kind of a, a big deal for me. The, the Solval printer uses plastic parts, whereas the Trudon uses metal parts. All the, all the motor mount and the gantry parts here, gantry frame parts, are all plastic. And that's kind of, it's not a deal breaker, but I really, th those parts I really want to be metal you know, especially if it's going to be enclosed in a chamber and you want it really warm in there. Uh, now, yes, I know the, the Vorons obviously are made with 3D printed ABS plastic parts and those seem to work fine. But I had an ABS part fail on my Voron V0 and it just feels more comfortable to me to have these 
these parts that are under high tension, high compression, high load with the belts, vibrating, moving a lot, and inside a heated chamber, I really want those parts to be metal. And all the gantry parts on the Trudon are metal. They're stamped uh, sheet metal or a custom extrusion that's been cut and tapped. So again, not really a deal breaker, but it's just another thing. And these parts, it kind of makes this printer look cheap. I'll get into that a little bit later on. The tool head, this is probably the biggest area and why I have this marked in red for me on the Sovel SV08. The tool head on the, this printer is proprietary. And why, why manufacturers keep doing this is really a frustration to have proprietary hot ends and nozzles on their tool heads. You know, a company like Bamboo Lab that has the marketing and distribution to get the parts out there and available, and those printers are becoming, probably by now, are really are ubiquitous and everywhere, you know, maybe that makes sense for them to have a proprietary custom hot end. But from a company like I don't even, you know, like from like Sovel, don't give me, you know, if you need to replace a nozzle, you know, can I get, can I get Amazon Prime overnight, same day, next day, can I get nozzle replacements? Are there um, a variety of nozzle sizes and materials available, you know, hardened steel versus brass? I guess what it comes with is a, is a, is a nickel plated copper nozzle or something. I, maybe that's nice, but it's proprietary. The hot end is all proprietary. If you need to replace the heater and the thermistor, can you get parts for that? These are things that really should be considered consumable with a 3D printer because you are going to wear out nozzles. Heaters and thermistors are going to fail and need to be replaced. So it, the fact that they're all proprietary is a real bummer. And it's it's one of the reasons why I want a Voron 3D printer or in, in the case of the Trudon using the Stealth Burner hot end, uh, the Stealth Burner tool head, everything is standard parts you can buy from retailers, lots of different places, Amazon, boom, next day I can get fans, I can get thermistors, hot ends, everything I need, nozzles, you know, to keep my printers running. Also on the hot end, uh, Nero 3D points this out in his video, so make sure and check that out. The tool head itself, the shroud, is a big bulky piece of plastic and the nozzle sits pretty far back. So it's really hard or impossible to see the plastic being laid down. That's kind of frustrating, uh, or can be, especially if you're printing something small or small details, you can't really see the first layer going down. And even on the on the Stealth Burner tool head, this thing, um, it, it this sits, sits kind of far back, so even with the LEDs mounted in the tool head, it can be a little bit difficult to see, you know, your first layer extrusion going down to see if it's actually sticking to the bed or, or, or not. So that's kind of a problem uh, on that tool head also. So the tool head is um, definitely a deal breaker for me and it would be a major reason for me to not recommend this printer uh, to somebody else. One bonus that I can see that the Sovel does have stock is it does appear to come with a CAN bus tool head board instead of the cable chains. I really hate cable chains. I really hate cable chains. They're big and bulky, and if you have to run wires through them, you got to run wires all the way around. You, wires have to go through that one, down and around, through the other one, all the way back, and then up and over the other one. It's so much, and the wires are so long. Can bus really, and just having a little umbilical like this, boy, that's a that's a, a nice a nice thing to have, especially if you're working on it or replacing, you have to service it, replace parts or whatever. Yeah, maybe a Trudon two point one or 2.5 they could come stock with a with a can bus tool head and maybe someday i i'll i'll replace um i'll upgrade my trudon with with can bus too my experience with the voron v 0.2 setting up and configuring can bus was a nightmare the software was a software was a real pain but once it's up and running just having that little umbilical you know uh can bus cable just um it's, 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 it's nice. And then you don't have to have cable chains. I hate cable chains. So that's nice. Warranty service support repair on the Trudon 2.0. I, I label, I guess. Now I was mistaken in my video and I, and I posted a comment that, that it does actually mention warranty on, on this page, which I didn't notice, but all the way down here, there's just in this awkward table, that's an image and not text. Um, it says warranty 12 months. So 
And somebody, at least one person commented on that video that Formbot was very receptive uh, to emails and supportive and things like that. So uh, that's great, I guess. But it, my other points still stand in that all it says is warranty 12 months, but there's no, I mean, I can contact, um, I can contact Formbot on here, but the manufacturer of the printer is Vividino, but like they don't even have a website. That doesn't even like, like the, the name of the manufacturer doesn't even exist as a company. So it's kind of weird versus Soval, which that, you know, the name of the company is on the printer and they have a forward facing website here. So again, that's not, you know, warranty service and support is not something that is a concern to me. And if you're, you know, a Voron DIYer type uh, person, then I would assume not that big of a deal to you either, but it's, uh, it's worth pointing out. Uh, Soval uh, at least has a website, Vividino. Noise is something that uh, these uh, reviewers have pointed out. According to the next layer, the noise on the Soval SV08 was pretty bad. Fans were on and very loud. Now, because it runs Clipper, you can configure those. You can manually control the fans, which is what I did with the exhaust fan on my Trudon to quiet it down, like I mentioned in, in my video. So that's something you can you can tweak and change. But noise, noise is important to me because I just have this small studio apartment and sometimes I have printers going when I'm trying to sleep. I can't have a big noisy printer. My Trudon 2.0 uh, as configured now is very reasonably quiet unless the part cooling fan is blasting 100% and the exhaust fan, if the part cooling fan and the exhaust fan are both on, then it, it can get pretty loud. But the motor is everything, the motion's really quiet. Apparently the, the motion on the Soval is not quiet. It's, it's noisy. Uh, watch uh, the next layers video uh, for more info on that. Camera, the uh, Soval printer includes a camera. Apparently it's not very good and the cable routing could use some work, but at least there's a camera in there. The Trudon does not include a camera. That's kind of a bummer, but again, it's something that's very easy to, well, it can be very easy to, to install because you can just use a USB webcam. That's what I have right now. It sits outside the enclosure. It's not really great. It'd be better to have a camera in, integrated inside, but take that for what it's worth. You get a camera with the, with the Soval printer. And lastly, I wanted to talk about uh, just just uh, just the looks of the printers. To me, I mean, this doesn't have the the enclosure on it, but to me, the and this is entirely subjective and you know maybe not really that important. But to me, the Solval printer just looks cheap. I mean, it looks like this. The Solval looks like the Voron that you got on Wish right? Or Timu, right? You know, plasticky parts. And partially, maybe it's the choice of color. This blue just is kind of like a cheap, it doesn't, it just kind of looks like, and then like these panels down here look like cheap injection molded plastic. And it just doesn't inspire confidence in the looks. Maybe if they molded these out of a black or gray or something, you know, or something with like a little bit of a texture, I, I don't know. Versus the Trudon, which looks almost like a Voron. I mean, like it's close. If you kind of squint your eyes and don't look too closely, it looks pretty darn a lot like a Voron. And, and, and of course, this is, you know, just kind of arbitrary, but uh, my printers are in my living space. It's not like in a workshop or a garage. It's kind of separate. So I, I do want them to kind of look nice and, and neat if it can. To me, the Soval just, and it just kind of looks cheap. Um, maybe it is cheap. So, you know, it looks like what it is. So to conclude for me, the Soval SV08 does not work. The shoe does not fit. I would not buy it. Even if the Trudon 2.0 didn't exist, I don't think I would still consider this. I think I would even, I think I would be in the market for building a Voron uh, 2.4 instead of buying this mainly because of the proprietary tool head on the hot end. Uh, the, the only reason, the only thing I could see, you know, with the Soval printer would be, I would buy this and then I would have to build a stealth burner and, you know, maybe get CNC, uh, metal parts for the gantry and rebuild that. And then I would also have to get, uh, panels for it. So, and then the screen, I'd want to upgrade that too. So yeah, the Soval printer just doesn't work for me mainly because of the proprietary tool head. I would probably have a hard time recommending it to anybody. 
even if they didn't care about the other features like the enclosure and the looks and things, I really don't like proprietary parts. And that's a big, that's a big deal killer for me. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Maybe I'm way off base on this and maybe uh, I've never had Solval products before. Maybe their printers are great. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you're still um, considering getting one, maybe you get one and you see this video and let me know. Maybe you love it and that's great and it works for you. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to hear about it. So in any case, I'm glad that there's more printers and especially in this, uh, sort of this sort of Voron class of printers, uh, coming out and more options for us. And that's great for everybody. So, uh, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, please like, and subscribe and I'll see you later.